Hello Geminis, how are you? I'm going to do a reading for you today. Um, so your song this week is Light by Big Sean featuring Jeremiah. Um, love this song. I think it's, I think it's beautiful. Um, it does have some inappropriate language, but it really isn't that bad. So if you want to go listen to it, um, feel free, read the lyrics while you listen. Um, I think it's an amazing song. It's about, um, realizing your power and your light within and, um, realizing that no one can take that from you. You know, no one can take your power away. You know, you can only give your power away. No one can take it from you. Um, so that's that's what I take from the song. Some of the lyrics. Um, Spent my whole life trying to find the light at the end of the tunnel. I should have realized it was inside. So maybe you were trying to look for something outside of yourself that really was within. Um, you know, like looking, you're lo you were maybe something like you were looking for love and you realized, you know, you need to love yourself first and find that within and find your, like the amount that you can love another person, you know, you should be giving that love to yourself, you know? Um, so that could have something to do with it. It says, it also says, even if you take away my life, you can't take the light. Um, it's like not letting people around you or your ego. Um, stop you or tell your tell you your worth for you um, not letting like darker things darker aspects darker energies around you hold you down like things of lower frequency not not letting those things influence you or hold you down and not engaging in those things and kind of avoiding those things so that they don't bring you down um, and the last lyric in the song is don't let them take away your soul don't let them take away what makes you whole so don't let these darker things that are around you right now these it could be a person it could be a situation that you're in um, there's some sort of darker energies that are you know trying to hold you down and you're not you're you know you're not letting that happen you're you're realizing you're worth your light and you're realizing that um, no one can no one can take that from you so don't let them take away what makes you whole all right let's see where is Gemini Show me Gemini. Passion. Aquarius got this as well. Passion. I think another one for where you're at. Where are you? Divine masculine. Hmm. You could be a divine masculine. This could be about your divine masculine. Let me read these. So passion says, the frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within this intensity, moving us from the chaos to the calm of its core, where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. Mm. Maybe it's like harnessing like this intense passion. It's like this intense... Um, feeling and trying to deal with it um, you could be feeling like a lot of passion um, for the divine masculine right now I'll read divine masculine even though you know we know what the divine masculine is uh, the frequency of divine masculine supports our strong focused and active side allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom so, you know, if this isn't about your Divine Masculine and you don't want to hear about your Divine Masculine, um, it could be, you know, like, taking action with your passions, you know? Um, not holding yourself back, not letting your ego or negative things around you hold yourself back. Hmm, okay, let's see the situation that you're in. What's the situation that Gemini is in? Emergence. The frequency of emergence invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from the pa from that place. Um, I almost said from the past. Um, hmm.
I'm feeling like this is kind of like asking you to um, go with the flow of things and ask, asking you to, with the childlike attitude, I feel like, yes, it's his uh, inno innocence and wonderment, but also like kind of like naivety, you know? Kind of allowing details to show themselves as they show themselves, allowing, not stressing over every detail. That can be easy to be, to, you can be, it can be easy to do that, especially in Virgo season right now, um, with Virgo season. It's like, it's like, it's like meticulous things are coming out. You're kind of really, you're analyzing everything to the point where you're kind of being very uh, nitpicky about details. Like this could be you, this could be somebody. It's kind of asking you to kind of go along a little bit lighter and maybe not to take things so seriously. Um, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. And let's see why. Ooh. Why is Gemini going through this situation? Okay. Solar plexus chakra almost came out. Realization. There's something to be realized. So, so this says the frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth as well as... Okay, hold on one second. Sorry about that. So, uh, realization. The frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in this world. So there's something to be realized here. Um, maybe, I, maybe it's realizing, you know, who the Divine Masculine is, or maybe it's um, the Divine Masculine realizing who they are, or maybe it's, you know, just a realization that um, you need to have, there's some sort of truth that needs to come out. Um, so that you guys um, and you actually, so that you can can get to um, where you need to be, the next step, you know, the next level, the next thing, the next mission, or you know, going forth with your mission, or whatever it may be, harnessing this passion, kind of putting it towards something um, worth worth your time, worthwhile, worth worth it for the universe, worth it for humanity. Hopefully, I make sense here. <laughs> All right, so let's see what the realization is. <laughs> All right. Just really quick. All right. Um, with the emergence, ah, I feel like it's also like coming out of hiding for someone or <clears throat> coming out of something like maybe you were doing a lot of reflecting and kind of, oh gosh, hermiting yourself. Um, Or allowing, maybe it's um, like emerging, like um, an aspect of you emerging um, the divinity. Like, hopefully, I'm not making. Hopefully, I, I sound. I don't sound kooky here. But it's like allowing your your inner being to basically come out and you know step into place for you. Just feeling that randomly. <laughs> All right, let's see. Nine of Cups, so wish fulfillment. Success in something, um, yeah. All right. So where is Gemini now in 3D? Show me Gemini. Okay. Okay. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right, <laughs> four cards. <laughs> wow. Two of Cups, the Lovers. Oh my gosh, there's more. Queen of Cups, Four of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. All right. So you're you're independent. You know, 
You could be single right now. You're independent, single, abundant on your own. If you're not single, you're just very independent regardless of you being in a partnership. Um, I'm seeing here some sort of foundation, some sort of union coming together. Um, could be with the Queen of Cups or um, no, this is you. So this is like you're being very um, emotional right now. I feel like this is indicative of having all this passion here. Like I feel like this this goes very well with it. I feel like um, I don't know if indicative was the right word. Either way, <laughs> um, I'm feeling like you're you're having a lot. You have a lot of emotional passion for somebody or maybe the divine masculine. You know, you could be having a lot of passion for divine masculine or divine feminine, a divine counterpart. Um, Especially with the lovers here reconciliation it's it's like you're kind of in an energy a really good energy it seems a really good energy of like um love a lot of love a lot of abundance passion you know passion yeah i mean that's that's great <laughs> what could be wrong with that let's see sorry let me just make it a little bit more All right, let's see the situation you're in in the 3D. What is Gemini's situation right now in the 3D? Okay. Okay. Ooh, magician. Hermit. These are conflicting. <laughs> um... Maybe you're kind of in one place right now and you're you're really wanting to go, um, you're feeling eager to go forward. You're kind of, okay, so reflecting to, reflecting to make movement in your life, it's like you're doing some reflecting and it's going to cause for movement. Or you're doing reflecting because um, there needs to be movement, there's something that needs to be cut out a truth that needs to come out yeah especially with which one said it realization um, our heart-centered truth it's like um, going in to find this truth and come out with it and make, like have action with it and um, there's manifesting here um, the situation you're in is is I mean, it doesn't seem too bad. It's like you're kind of manifesting. It's like you're kind of, you're, it's like you're doing this well. It's like you're um, handling this well. So it's like you're reflecting and cutting the people out that you need to after reflecting and allowing um, blessings to kind of manifest in your life. Maybe you're doing a lot of manifesting practices. Maybe you're looking up a lot of videos about the law of attraction. Maybe you're doing a lot, a lot of manifesting work. You know that could be part of um, your journey. I know that um, learning about the law of attraction is what's, at least for me, started um, my um, journey with this stuff. Uh, I can remember, like, from childhood when you know my grandma and my, all my aunts were um, <laughs> all reading the secret and obsessed with the secret, and they were writing those fake checks and leaving them everywhere. And um, Oprah was talking about it. Like, I can remember when everyone was like obsessing over the secret. Um, and that was my actual my first actual introduction to it, but I never actually looked into it. But when I did, it kind of kick-started um, this whole process for me where I kind of went deeper and deeper and deeper into it. And then I was learning about all these different topics that had nothing to do with the law of attraction. I feel like there's different entry points for everyone and everyone has a different way of how they come across this stuff. Um, obviously, that's not the only thing. Obviously, you know, certain things happening in my life have, have also um, kind of set me off on this path. But, you know, maybe you're, you're getting in in that way, like me. <laughs> maybe you're learning about manifestation and the law of attraction and energies and learning how to manipulate energies and, um, like, with, with uh, meditating and knowing how to kind of affect your different chakras on the spot and stuff like that. You know, maybe you're kind of doing a lot of work like that while reflecting. Or you could just be getting your foot in the door. Or, you know, maybe you're a friggin' pro. I don't even know, you know. You're manifesting. 
long story short, <laughs> not so short. Um, okay, let's see why you're in this situation. Probably because there's something you're supposed to be manifesting or realizing while you're doing something. Okay, so, okay. So first of all, the ego. Um, maybe you've allowed your ego to control you for too long. Or maybe you have some attachments that you need to kind of cut out, you know, and maybe that's, you're reflecting on them and um, realizing you're needing to cut them out and you're trying to manifest that, manifest the power to do that, or maybe you don't even realize you're manifesting, you know? But um, this here definitely shows me that ego is kind of trying to stop you from, um, Realizing something, um, gr like grow, like moving past something, um, coming into fully into yourself, coming fully in together with yourself, and this is is um, I'm feeling like this is about luck here, with the Page of Cups. Um, I feel like you're lucky right now. You, you have luck on your side right now, and maybe that's why things look like they're kind of going so smoothly. I mean, I don't know. I don't know your life. I don't know if it's going smoothly. Um, but, I mean, it seems like there's some luck here. Maybe you have some luck in finances because the fish um, does represent, like, career and stuff. So, you could be lucky in work right now. Or you're gonna, you're gonna get lucky, you know? You're gonna get lucky. Uh, or someone's, like, coming to offer you something. Like, it's like, your ego is, like, kind of stopping you from this luck. Like, this luck could be somebody coming to you with an offer or um you know just an offer coming out of nowhere an idea coming out of nowhere it's like don't allow your ego to stop those things from coming in your ego will anytime you feel fearful of anything doubtful of anything any kind of negative emotion like that it all comes from the ego so it's not that hard to identify it's just becoming aware of your thoughts and not being so like it's like how i say it, it's like don't be lazy with your thoughts don't just think that um, your thoughts are just your private own little world and no one can hear them and nothing happens. It's like, I think somebody comment, commented about thoughts don't, don't manifest into things and I mean, test it out. I mean, like, really test it out. Yes, like, people, people's rebuttal there is like, well, I've been thinking about money my whole life and I've been wanting money my whole life and it hasn't come to me. And it's like, well, the, the, if you actually looked into the law of attraction, it's like, yes, you're wanting money. That's, you're manifesting wanting money. You're manifesting, the, you're affirming that you are lacking money and you need money now. That's what you're affirming when, you know, you're thinking about how you need money. Like, the vibration of saying, I need money is, is like such like a, it's, it's a very lack vibration. So if you're vibrating lack, you will get lack. You need to bring it's like that's why that's why I think um, meditation is so important no matter where you are in your journey um, trying it out no matter where you are how old you are whatever it is um, like meditating really teaches you how to um, first of all recognize when certain energies come into your field that you that aren't yours it's like it's it's like if you're an empath or clairsentient you could be feeling things around you that aren't even yours and you know you could be feeling anxious if you're the type of person that feels anxious randomly for no reason definitely look into the fact that you could definitely be an empath because if you're in social situations or in groups or at, at a public place or you're even with one other person if you suddenly start feeling anxiety but there's no reason um, typically um, that's an indicator that you're an empath and you're picking up on somebody else's energy around you you're picking up on somebody else's negative emotion and it's like these emotions aren't these thoughts have a vibration they have energy to them so we think we think thoughts and they just stay in our head and they don't go anywhere but you're thinking those thoughts you're putting those thoughts out into the universe it's like what you're vibrating is gonna vibrate back to you you know what I mean it's like it's like um, um, like if like two things on a table like if I was shaking this table like these would be vibrating like 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 they'd be coming together like vibrating together coming together it's like you're attracting certain things I'm really going off on a tangent okay I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop all right <laughs> okay uh, show me 5d Gemini here what does Gemini's 5d self energy look like here 
but either way, yeah, me um, meditating is really important. You can you can really recognize the thoughts that aren't your own that are coming into your, your space. Also, it teaches you how to manipulate energies and how to um, um, know how to move energies, if that makes sense. Like, of course, if you meditate, you, you know what I mean. It's it's like you, you learn how to, where to put energy. Like, like, I can make my heart chakra, like, light up. You know what I mean? I can send um, light and love to my heart chakra and I get this, like, euphoric feeling. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like learning how to manipulate these energies um, with meditating. It's like it's learning how to identify them. It's like a muscle that you need to strengthen. Um, yeah, so meditate. <laughs> All right, show me Gemini's 5D energy. King of Cups. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Alrighty. So I like to put them in the order that they fell out in. I know that these flipped somewhere. I don't really know. I know this came out last. I'll put this here, this here, and this here. All right. So first of all, we have the King and the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign. You could have water heavy in your chart. Your 5D self, hmm, it's so interesting. Um, it's like your 3D self's the Queen of Cups and then 5D self is uh, King of Cups. You could just be really emotional right now about something. I think this is like this passion, it's like there's some sort of really strong emotion to, to this reading here. It's like there's some sort of really strong um, energy with it. It's like you feel very strongly about something. This abandonment and this judgment. I don't know if, if maybe, I don't know why this is weirdly making me feel like you're abandoning your intuition, abandoning your better judgment with something. It's like you're walking away from, especially where these cards are placed, you're kind of walking away from being the king of cups here. Is this a divine masculine? This might be a divine masculine or something. It's like, it's like, um, yeah, like walking away from better judgment, from better judgment. I don't know why this is in the 5D space, though. But on the outs, the 3D, the 3D self is, is looking so good, but like, it's like deep down, it's like, it's like, um, there's like underlying abandonment, it's like, it's like you're kind of abandoning yourself or someone's abandoned themselves. That's really interesting. And then there's here, there's an offer, um, seeing something in a different light, in an awakening, and then there's some sort of communication from that. So it's like, uh, Like this is an offer, but it's a naive offer. It's like a, it's not, it's a page. It's still naive. I think the page of pentacles is a little bit better of an offer than the rest of the pages, but um, still, still a page, still a page naive offer. So it's like somebody makes some naive offer and there's also seeing something in a different way. It's like somebody walked away from their emotions and like abandoned their better judgment and didn't really pay attention to their intuition. Um, and as a result of that, it's like these cards, um, it's like there's some offer that's kind of a smaller offer, um, and then somebody sees something in a different light and it communicates. Someone sees something differently and communicates. Or wants to. Wants to. Okay. So, so, it's like, um, a guide of yours or, um, whoever this is for there's like spirit trying to illuminate something or um, show somebody a different perspective on something and maybe show them where things may have gone wrong.
but there's someone who's wanting to communicate. It could be Divine Masculine here. Divine Masculine could be wanting to communicate after seeing something in a different way and kind of realizing where um, they were kind of holding emotions in and abandoning their better judgment. Okay, yeah, let's see the situation. Maybe that'll give better answers here. Gemini situ almost okay. Okay. Alright. Christ. What is going on? Okay. Alright. 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 Mm, okay. So this came off first. Somebody's making like a blind feeling like they have to make a blind decision and they're really fighting in their head about this. They're really fighting, um probably their ego. They're probably fighting their ego about this. Could be you, could be someone you're dealing with. Um fighting their ego um, and fighting like themselves I'm, I'm like this could be fighting out outer things but where this is 5d I'm feeling like this is definitely a battle between your 5d self and your ego probably um, your higher being and your ego and it's like you're, it's it's like you're kind of going you're kind of making a blind decision here making a blind decision, fighting in your head about it, feeling like you missed out on something. Someone's feeling like they missed out on something because of secrets. Secrets. There's secrets um, that need to come out, that aren't coming out. And I feel like that's something that's been talked about since the beginning of this reading here. There's some sort of truth that needs to come out that hasn't come out. And a recognition that needs to be made that hasn't been met, made. A realization that needs to have that hasn't been had. Okay. And let's see why. Okay, yeah. Why? Because there's blessings coming in. Why? Because you need to learn how to be vulnerable. You need to learn how to be vulnerable with your emotions and, you know, know that, yes, there's the opportunity for people to hurt you in life, but you are strong enough in your own power to give yourself enough love so that anybody trying to, you know, stop giving you love doesn't take anything away from you because you already have a full cup you don't need their love anyway. If somebody doesn't want to be there, then it's probably for your betterment. If you think about it, you didn't want them there anyway then. If they were that type, right? If they were the type to just leave, you don't want them there anyway, right? So it's like learning how to be vulnerable, learning how to let your guard down, learning how to allow good things to come in so that you don't miss out on opportunities and things and not letting your ego stop you. All right, let's see the outcome here. What is the outcome? Okay. Ooh, strength and a plan. <laughs> so somebody's going to make a plan um, and going to be strong. You know, somebody's going to plan and strategize um, on how to get themselves out of this where they are. And you know, it, they're, it, you know, you're you're going to be in an energy of strength. Um, you're going to be strong, stronger after this. The outcome of this is strength. Strength and getting getting out of um, you know rocky waters, you know, getting getting into um, getting into something that's more stable, more calm, more divine. <laughs> and what is the situation's outcome? Okay, alrighty, great. <laughs> Ace of Wands. All right, a passionate. The ability to actually come forward and be vulnerable and bring this passion to, to the 3D. That's the outcome of the situation. Someone's going to be able to bring passion um, and probably actually do this communicating that they're wanting to do. Somebody is going to be willing and able to come forward with this passion and it's going to be offered to you or somebody, you know? Yeah. Okay. And why this outcome? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because somebody's overthinking this walking away way too much. And this is a journey. And this could be um, a karmic situation. And karmic situations aren't always relationships. You know, they could be jobs, you know, family life. It's like just karmic situations. And it's like this is an end to a cycle. This has been a cycle. Um, you've been overthinking walking away, overthinking walking to um, better better things and leaving the things that don't serve you um, and cutting out the crap and reflecting on the things that you need to cut out so that you can manifest that. It's like you're ending this cycle um, of holding yourself back basically and allowing less than what you deserve. 
And again, like with the song, I feel like I didn't talk about the song enough, but it's like, um, you know, no one's going to be able to take your light in this. And this may be a difficult situation to go through, um, like dramatic and difficult to be battling your ego and pushing yourself um, to make decisions and come out of um, the cave and, you know, be honest about secrets and feelings and everything. Um, but it's like you're not allowing these lower frequency things to hold you back and maybe that's why um, you're kind of showing in the 3D a very strong um, aura like you're kind of putting off that you're coming off very strong and I'm sure that relates to other people around you too they probably see that as well um, so yeah let's see what you can be excited about what can Gemini be excited about based on these cards here can Gemini be excited about? What can Gemini be excited about? Okay. Alright. Alright. So, um, you can be excited about an Emperor um, or a King of Wands. So, you could be stepping into these energies um, the energy of the Emperor. Um, energy of the King of Wands. The Emperor is Divine Masculine. Um, so either you can be excited about Divine Masculine stepping into Divine Masculine's power, being passionate, confident, um, uh, passionate, confident, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, I feel like there's one more. Passionate, confident, I don't know either way um so it's like you're it's like either you're stepping into these powers or um you can be excited about um so, uh, an energy like this coming towards you um a divine counterpart um somebody who is just a very passionate person um they could be a business person they could be an aries where fire and the emperor here is representative of aries they could be an aries they could just be a fire sign um yeah or not or not just a divine counterpart either way so i guess that's what you can be excited about so hopefully you're actually excited about that <laughs> all right so i hope you enjoyed your reading today um and i hope to see you here next week bye